Hmm, not available until October. That one looks nice, but it's way out of my price range. Uh, I guess I could stomach living in a basement, but in that part of town? Ah, don't sneak up on me like that. Knock it off. You probably just wanted to catch my phone password or something. I'm looking at apartments. It's not going well. It's not that I'm excited to move out. I'm not being given a choice. My parents said I have to be out of the house by the end of summer. No exceptions. Good question. I don't know how they expect me to be able to afford it, given that I don't have a job. But if I'm legally an adult and no longer in school, then they don't have to let me stay. Yeah, it sucks, but I can't say I didn't see this coming. It's not like I'll be homeless right away. I can maybe afford a cheap motel or something like that if it comes down to it. But it's not ideal. So I can't waste any time looking for a place to live. Okay, maybe I didn't totally see it coming. I knew they were anxious to get rid of me, but I didn't expect them to give me a hard deadline. Or straight up say they want me gone. Hmm, I'll be able to get a job once school ends. I'm pretty sure you have to have one if you want to rent anywhere. Well, the places around here don't look promising. It's not that I mind slumming it. I'll probably take the cheapest place I can find, no matter how shitty it is. But even the shitty places are overpriced. I mean, look at this. It's a one-room apartment that doesn't even have an oven, and only has a mini-fridge, and it's $1,500 a month. It's such a scam. I don't know what I'll do. My parents are still going to give me access to my college fund, so there's that. But if I have to work to afford rent, I might not be able to go to school. It's hard enough to find a place to live, and finding one I can afford working part-time will be even harder. I'm gonna have to figure it out all by myself. I just hope I don't lose it from the stress. Nope, I'm gonna be off their insurance, so goodbye therapy. There's no way I could afford it, even if I worked full-time. I guess it's fine. My therapist is kind of uptight anyway. Well, she still helped me relearn normal behavior, so there's that. I guess I don't have to be a student to live like one. A room in a shared house would work. I don't suppose you could use your incredible family connections to help me out. No family in real estate, huh? You have an idea. <laughs> That's a scary sentence. Yeah, should have known you'd suggest that. I'm not couch surfing at your apartment. I need a real place to live. You have a guest bedroom. Why? When do you ever have guests over? God, your family really does have way too much money. Not that I'm agreeing, but how much would rent be? Free? Okay, you know that sounds even more suspicious, right? No thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. I'm right to be wary, because nobody would offer something like that without wanting anything in return. Companionship? All right, fuck off. Oh, I believe that's what you want, but I already told you, I'm not interested. And going into a situation like that would put me at an insane risk. Come on, I know you're rich, but you aren't that stupid. Say we start living together. Shut up. If we start living together and you realize that you don't like my companionship or you get tired of me, 
You could just kick me out on a whim because I don't pay rent. Like, do you really not see how absurdly vulnerable that situation would make me? Not to mention it'd be enabling your weirdness, which is bad for you, too. Ten dollars? Oh my god, you're impossible. I'm dealing with something serious here. If I don't get this sorted out, I could be stuck in the cycle of poverty for the rest of my life, or get saddled with a mountain of debt. I know that's something you'll never have to worry about, but could you at least try to be sympathetic and not take advantage of the situation? What the... what are you doing? Well, if you keep holding my hand like that, I'm gonna think you're about to propose. That's... quite the declaration. You saying I've made that much of an impact... We haven't even known each other all that long. Okay, well, I believe I'm your only... friend, if that's what you want to call it. But that's not a good thing either. You've... learned from me. Learned what, exactly? Are you saying you actually understand what I've been telling you? Thank God. You think we can help each other. How? You let me live with you, and I help you figure out how to manage your... urges. <sighs> I'm... not sure. And I'm not completely out of options yet, either. At least give me some time to think about it. You'll keep the offer open. That's nice of you, I suppose. Now, can you let go of my hand? Thanks. For now, I'm gonna keep looking. And hope I can still have standards in this kind of renting environment. Man, the housing crisis has gotten so bad, the only way to make rent is to live with a yandere. Where is our government on this? Thank you to Snake for the coffee donation. The name is a coincidence, but I'm watching you. 